Okay, good morning everyone. It's, or good afternoon maybe for some. It is Tuesday, July 7th of 2020. So let me just bring this out to you briefly. And there's some things that the Lord spoke to me. Number one, we need to wake up. Many are still in their complacency. They're still um, disbelieving. We are in a time of emergency. Emergency is the word. This nation is in a time of emergency. So I want to talk to you. People have asked me about assignments. I cannot say what your assignment is. No one can. Whatever you're, they may be able to confirm. But you know God is speaking. And he reminded me that he is speaking to us about our assignments. They are appointed by him. We must all be diligent in prayer, in uh, continuing to seek Him, in continuing to be patient and wait upon the Lord. That is very important because if you don't, you, you're going to go out there beyond the time or out of the timing of God. You may get into something that you aren't expecting, and the outcome usually is not good. So again, I am emphasizing, basically, you are to go to the Holy Spirit to see if there, you're, if, to see if you're to go somewhere else. Are you to relocate somewhere else? Are you to stay? God can protect you even in the most domestic types of, of attacks. And we have to realize God is stronger and bigger than everything that is right now going on. And this is why myself, I've always emphasized, make sure you go to the Lord. Make sure that because God's voice needs to be heard. We need to seek the Savior that we say we believe in and we love and we trust. So it is nice to have confirmations, yes. But it is even better when you know because you will have peace in your heart when you know the time is right and you know you are doing what God wants. You will not have all these flare-ups and confusion and misunderstanding. So that is what I'm saying about assignments. The next thing. God is moving on a lot of people. Some of the timing is right now. I spoke about a, a time frame, a window of time. And yes, that is for the body of believers as a whole. So whatever it is you're supposed to do or not do, go or not go, you need to listen to the Spirit and not get in fear. Because fear is not going to help you, you know, get into a flurry of activity and a flurry of fear. And then every decision and everything you do is made on fear. And you don't want to do that. Again, I'm emphasizing to you, God is going to protect you if you are in Him. If you truly have a relationship with Him. Everybody, it's very easy. Oh, God will take care of me. God will preserve me. God will do this. It's very easy. But our part is we have to stay within His protection. We have to live a life of holiness. And yes, we do make mistakes, but we can overcome. So yes, you know, it's very easy to say I'm ready. It's very easy to talk. But when the actual walk is in front of you, when things are actually in front of you, it's very difficult sometimes. And, and it, there's nothing wrong with admitting that. You know, we none of us have all the answers. I don't care who we are, how many videos we have, how many prophecies, whatever it may be, none of us have arrived. And none of us have the whole answer. And none of us have walked so perfectly. We're still living with temptation. We're still living in an imperfect world with imperfect people. And therefore, we have to deal with everything now. 
not necessarily just everything that's coming. And we have to learn how to prepare ourselves, if you're not already, to walk in the supernatural and look at things supernatural and even read the word. And when we ask for revelation, understand the supernatural matters of God. So, moving on to house churches, Goshen, safe havens, as they are called. Emphasis is first on the Lord. Any time we're talking about these things, we should always be reminded the emphasis is on the protection of the Lord. In other words, no matter where we are at this present time, no matter what is being said at this present time, no matter what may be, our protection is always going to be in the Lord. No matter what is going on, no matter where we are, no matter how our families are, our protection is in the Lord. This is why it is so important, and I have spoken about going deep, going deep. A lot of people don't understand that. It has to do with going deeper in the Word, not just reading the Scripture, but asking, go deeper. There is much deep revelation, and there is a lot more to the Scripture than what people are saying, the understanding of it, and our deep, deep relationship with Him. Because the times ahead are going to be very, very horrific, very difficult to travel when we do not have that relationship and we're, we're working in fear and we're more con, you know, caught up in what everybody is saying and doing than we are caught up in our relationship. A lot of people say, well, I'm by myself anyway. I don't have anyone. I only have the Lord. You know, I'll tell you this. You're very blessed. Because to have him, yes, I know we need physical contact and interaction, but I'm telling you, you're very blessed to know the Lord and have that time with him. It's a time to relish. It's a time to be at peace. And I know some, some don't feel good. They're broken. They don't have family. And it's a very difficult time. And our prayer goes out that the Lord will send someone to you. That is all that anyone can do. We can't do the work of the Holy Spirit. We don't know the future. But we can pray. And our prayers should be effective enough where it will make a change eventually. Whether it's in our life or the lives of others. So in essence, if you are to relocate, then by all means, diligently start seeking where are you going? Who are you going to be with? Is it going to be yours? Is people going to come to you? Because God, yes, He is, in spite of everything. He is going to have safety for His people in different designated locations. And there is going to be a sacrifice with this. It's, well, there's going to be a tax because Satan is going to do everything that he can to stop your destinies, to stop the work of the kingdom and it may be different but it's going to go on non-stop until the Lord's return because it seems to have calmed down here in the world a little yeah these things that are still around us does not mean that we are to stop doing what we're doing and get into a complacent state this is the time we need to be praying and doing fasting and the whole nine yards because we are going we are getting ready to see a turbulence happen and so just because it might be a little bit quiet on the forefront or we're hearing things around the world elsewhere doesn't mean that all is well it is not let me reemphasize that it is not all well Turbulence is around the corner. Turbulence. So you need to do what you need to do now. If it's not to do anything other than to prep and to pray, you need to do it now. 
while you still have access. That's what we've been doing. We, as I told you in the last video, we've kind of have an upheaval. Satan is fighting this all the way. We are relocating. I don't know that I'll be on the internet. Things will be changing. I will try to keep you abreast. I am not at liberty by the Lord to let anybody really know where we will be right now. Um, but, but, it's, uh, it's a turbulent time. God is getting us up and moving so that we don't get complacent. And so we have to get ready. We know what our assignments are, and, and it's not an easy one. Us having to move now is not easy. We're, it's like how Abraham was called with the family. We have to move into unknown territory, and it's not easy. It's not easy when you're older. It's not easy to go um, and make, try to get things done that the Lord wants you to do. You're in a different land. You're in with different folks. You're, you know, things are on are changing, and it's not easy for any of us. But uh, the bottom line is, it's not about us. It's about Him. It's about obedience. And God, is, for us, has already, you know, we're, we're, we're moving quickly because the time frame is closing. The, and um, uh, I, I've seen this. I know another, other people have. Um, but the door is closing. And I actually saw that happening. The door is ready to close soon. And whatever happens after that, whatever people have not done or have... It, that is it. It is over in that time frame. We are at a time where we're going to have to make some decisions that we've never had to make. And it's not going to be easy. What we're involved in right now is for the body of Christ. Like I said, it's not anything I am openly allowed to reveal right now. It's in the making. It's coming. But I will tell you that... It is not easy. It is not easy to uproot everything you've ever known, to give up a lot of your things and move into what God wants. It's not easy. Our flesh is willing. Our spirit is, or our flesh is not willing to do it, but our spirit is. But that's the trouble. We have to discipline our flesh. It's like no flesh, you're not doing what you want to do. I'm doing what the will of the Lord has told me to do or has told us to do and so it's hard it's hard and we're in that time period right now up being uprooted a lot of change things we don't even know it's coming wham and bang and then the bottom line is once we do get to where we go the Lord is going to move mindly so this can happen to you at the same way when you're relocating we are not giving out any information regarding a safe haven right now because it will be in the making and because also the Lord has told us to give out information for a place that He has designated as safety would not be wise in that it's going to bring much turmoil from outside world that is not Christian and that will bring in the enemy. So it stays confidential. Those that will come, or those that will come, will come by the Holy Spirit. They will not come by me putting out every information. And so, you know, again, it's going to be a, a difficult time for the people. It's going to require work. It does. It requires work. It requires uh, help. It requires whatever we need, whatever God is putting on the hearts to do. For whoever it is that's moving, whoever, whatever place they're going, it requires work and it requires prayer on our part. So, I just want to let you know that, that things are moving. I understand, uh, you know, how it is. It's difficult to make the changes. It may even be a time that God is calling you away from your families your loved ones and that's very difficult because there's going to be places you that God may call you to but you can't even tell your family exactly where you're going to be 
So I know, you know, you're giving up a place where you've been established for years. It is not going to be easy. But the Lord said it must be done. It may hurt. It may hurt. But it has to be done in order to strengthen you and to build you up and to bring you to the place where God wants you to be. And so that is what I wanted to speak about today mainly is your assignments, places where you'll go for safety. And the very last thing is the Lord has emphasized again. Again, the door is closing. The time frame is very slim for everyone. There's going to come a point in time where we will not be able to travel. There will be a travel ban put on interstate travel, not just borders. And so we need to be diligent in where God wants us to be if he wants us to be anywhere. As I reemphasize, everybody is different. Therefore, you can't say, well, where are you doing? And what is this going on? Your assignment, if you have one, may be different. That's why I don't say a lot, because, because of things that we're going through doesn't necessarily mean others will. And it may very well be that God is just calling you to prayer. But regardless, the bottom line is, your safety is in Him. Your safety should be in Him. I don't have too much more to say, but I'm going to. I'm, I, I am going to say this. Turbulence is coming. It's around the corner. There's no getting around it. The horrific things. Families are being shaken. You're going to be separated from your family. Many of us will. Assignments that come will separate us from our families. If you are going to be obedient to the Lord and in the will, there'll be some families. There'll be some couples that will have assignments together. But they'll be separated and others. There'll be travel. You wonder how that'll be? Let's wait and see. But the Lord said you will travel. There, we are, God is getting ready to bring a lot of souls into kingdom. Expect it. Unfortunately, like anything, it will come when things are not well. Alright? They're going to be really bad. Not like it is now. So through that, that's how people will wake up. Unfortunately, it has to be a horrible disaster. And when people, then people will realize what has been said is true. And they will have to wake up. It will be the same way with all the confusion between saints of God. All the name calling that goes on that, you know, about the, the, about the warnings or about things coming. They will see. It won't be pretty. Not everyone is going to be happy. Of course not. Not everybody's going to pat you on the back and say, Yeah, you were right about that. That's great. No. There's going to be fear. There's going to be much more panic and anxiety than is here and right now. And some is going, there's going to be a lot of hate rise up. So we need to be prepared. Because we are, we're going to need to be that armor. We're going to need to be girded up. And the only way you can do that, the only way you're going to make it through, is knowing and having the relationship with Christ, having the Bible in your heart, whatever it takes. Whether you die for your faith or whether you live. And that's a must that people don't want to talk about or face, whether in death or in life, we will not recant Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. A lot of people, it's the same way with dreams and visions. Not everybody gets one. That doesn't mean that you're not saved. Not everybody speaks in tongues. That doesn't mean that you're not saved. We have to get out of these false opinions and philosophies that we've taken up over the years. This is why it's so important you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Not anyone else is going to stand with you when we stand before God and give an account of our lives. So 
Don't allow just everyone to put you down or tell you this is wrong, that's wrong, whatever. You're going to have to stand the test of time. You're going to have to overcome the words that may be spoken against you or the thoughts and pray. Pray. Because some of them are blinded as well. So it's to our advantage to pray for them. It's to our advantage that, that we have to keep silent sometimes and move on. We don't have time for bickering. We don't have time to debate. We don't have time to go into an angry tirade about this one and that one and that one and this one and justify it just by putting God's name on it. Because a lot of times God is not in that kind of thing. This is very, very serious. So please take heed. A type of attack has been sent, set up. Hence the meeting and the shaking of hands. It is just around the corner. It will be barbaric in nature. It will come from an unexpected source. People will not believe it's happening so fast. And blood will run the course of this nation. We are talking about America. Um, I am so um, getting goosebumps, basically. Mass persecution on Christians will begin. This will be global as I've spoken before. This will also involve men, women, and children, so brace yourself. The heart of the Father is grieved because so many have turned him away. Many are looking at politicians to fix all the problems. Be weary of the words spoken forth. As I've pointed out and I've said before, don't believe everything in the media and even people that are giving you insider information. Again, he emphasized, be weary or be wary of the words spoken forth, for in this hour the attackers are already in your own backyards. Many sins will be exposed at the cost of others. The love of the Father does not stop. His heart beats for the souls to come to the kingdom. Now it is time for God to clean up his church first, and then the government. Pray for the Father's will to be done and nothing else. Salah. And as with every word, prayer, take it to the Holy Spirit. He said, now, all these things that you've been saying prior are coming to pass. He said, or they, they are passing. And so I just said, thank you, Lord, that, but I'm not, I'm not thankful that we have to go through the judgments. But that I have no say-so over. The Lord said that's over. We are in, 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 in the time now. These things must take place. The book of Daniel has been opened. And I mentioned that a while back. The book of Daniel is playing out. The book of Revelation is also playing out. And the Lord said there's a, there, the time of um, complacency is over. The time of trying to make, go, make it happen and go back to the way things were, that is over. The time for the church and the way ministries and, and, and agendas and all this that have been done is over. He is going to continue to come into the church and expose because the people are hiding. This is what he told to me. He said the church is hiding. The church is hiding. That was all I was given. Hiding from what? Was my question. What, are, what is the church hiding from? Persecution. That's what he said. They know in their heart persecution is coming. They know. They really know. And they're deep in their mind, this is it. This is now the time. We're in it. This is the time that the old time prophet spoke about. And many of the messengers, we're in it now. We're in it. We are in it. In, in, in. Tribulation times now. There's no turning back. It doesn't matter what other people think. That is what I was given from the Lord. And I will stand on the messages I was given. Because I'm not looking 
to get any kind of attention or glory. I'm giving it the way it is, and it's already hard enough to have to come with these things. But however, I also bring you good news. The Lord Jesus Christ is alive and well, and he wishes no one to perish, but that all might come in to his kingdom. What you do with your information today, any other day, what you do now with the things that are going on, how you react, what kind of a life you're leading will determine your final choice before um, the Lord comes back. It will determine where you will stand and make your account to the Lord. That's for all of us. And again, my encouragement is to you to ask the Lord to examine you, to repent, to learn how to warfare. We do not have to, to lay down. We don't have to hide behind closed doors. No, we need to have a voice, and we need to be doing what the Lord tells us to do. There are many, many things going to go on. Where is our only hope? Our only hope and our only safety is in Him. However, God has been gracious enough, and he reminds me to tell you all, he is gracious that he is bringing about in within his people places of safety. House churches, if you will, this is what he calls them. So he supersedes. I know a lot of people want to call them safety zones and Goshens, and that's fine. God said they are coming back to his original foundation. He's established it. And so, a lot of us, our part it will be to get things going. We, are, we ourselves are in a kind of a thing. I'm not going to go into detail. I can't right now. I, I just, we may be off the internet for a while. Things are going to, everything we have is going to change here down the road. It will not be long. The months are ticking by. And the Lord said, we don't have much more time. And the weeping is a fact of what's coming. We cannot know everything because the Lord doesn't give us over everything to overwhelm us. But he does give us enough to where we will open our eyes and seek him while he can be found. Seek him, seek him, seek him with all your heart, your soul, your mind. Things are coming over the next few months, over next year that will turn you either to him or away from him. It will make the hair stand up on you. It will shock some people. But the bottom line is, you must stay close to the Lord. All the videos, all the words we hear, all the prophecies are not going to save you or make you better. All the things of the world are not going to keep you. Your money, your finances, your jobs, your vacations, the way you used to do things. God has now rattled everybody. <laughs> He's shaken everything. And it doesn't look too good. And now people must make a choice. It's not going to go away. It's not going to stop. We are going to see things we never thought we'd see before. And believe you me, the powers to be, they know, they know, they know. They serve the God of mammon. They serve the God of the darkness of the underworld. And God is allowing this to shake up the church, the government, because everyone is looking to people for their answers. And looking to every situation every day instead of looking to God for the answer. Instead of putting in and looking for the truth in Him. And so that's all I'm going to say on that. But the shaking is coming and more so than it has. Things are going to really take a turn that is not expected. And this is not, as I said, this is very close now. And I needed to come on here because the Lord would not let me rest. 
I do what he says. We are in an urgent time. God is calling his people, those that are called to relocate, uh, such as ourselves, those that are maybe not called to relocate, but have a purpose. There is always a purpose. Please get yourself in order and here ask the Lord where you're to go, if you're to go, if you're to go, what to do. Every person's circumstances, assignments are going to be different. So, not really can anyone advise you because God has got a unique assignment or place for you or maybe even to have you stay. Maybe you're not going to go. So I leave that in the hands of the Lord. It's just a reminder. Urgently seek Him because we need to be preparing and getting ready. Uh, whatever happens over here soon, there's not going to be any more time to prepare after it happens. It will be gone. That time will be lost and be gone. I'm telling you this in love but it's a hard message and I'm gonna it's gonna be a lot of hard warnings. So God bless all of you. Please, please, please take everything to the Lord. Pray to withstand the things that are coming. They are we are gonna see things. It is going to affect the church. And you know, if God is gonna send you to where He wants you to go if you've been called. If you've not heard anything, then for me, I wouldn't go. Stay where you are because it may not be your call to go. Don't get caught up with so much emotion because everybody else is doing something that you think you need to do it. And it may be a wrong and unwise decision. Make sure that you put it to God first. So all I'm saying today, my final, is we are getting ready. Very, very soon, and I don't mean years from now either, that the, the atmosphere here is going to change into something that the world has never seen. And they're not going to like it. But there, things are being put in place one thing at a time. Slowly. It's not a fast thing. It's a slowly. It's like a noose being put around the necks of the people everywhere. Slowly, slowly they're bringing it in to get the people ready. So that when the ultimate is out there, the ultimate, and that is the Antichrist, the chip mark, everything, it will be so easy to rope people in doing it and taking it and receiving it because they'll believe it's the right thing to do. The Lord had me come on to make this video because my time is going to be limited for a little while because we will be making changes eventually. And where we're going, it's going to be okay, but it's also going to be a time we have to hurry we have to make some decisions and we have to be in place. It's a very heavy time. It's a very heavy time. And and we we always need God's strength in all of this. His divine revelation and character in all of this. So as we pray, let us make our prayers effective for the kingdom to break down strongholds and to overcome evil. Let us speak boldly, for the kingdom of God is at hand. God bless you all, and until the next time, Shalom.